Hey, do you hear that? Is that someone there, though? I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Hey, sir, please do Hey, hold up, hold up! Yo, I don't- ah! I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to another episode of three random games. It's that game shows where of course we play three random games from the internet. Oh, you know, within the confines of this singular video. Now this may be a judgmental opinion, but I think the games I got today are pretty darn cool and you guys are gonna have a really good time watching them. That's your cue to stick around for the whole video. Also, my buddy decided that now is a great time to start developing loads of hay fever symptoms. So this is awesome. I'm really enjoying myself. <laughs> Now the first game is called Night Shift. It was created as an homage to the puppet combo game, also called Night Shift. If you guys have never seen that game, my goodness, let me just show you this clip. Ah! Yeah, the jump scares were insane. Let's get it. Let's do this. I mean, if the game is going to be anything like the puppet combo one, my headphones are being turned down towards the end of the game because, guys, I am literally going to turn myself on YouTube and I might get a TOS strike for that. We don't want that. Hey, look at that one we spin. You see the lean action? Right, hold on, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at the movement. I just woke up, I'm sprightly. I'm happy to start my day at work. It's 11 p.m., so we've got that night shift, guys. Let's go. Compress E on that door. Let's try open this one. Okay, I can't. All right, let's open the door. We're going out. Ooh, this is kind of cool. It's a complete expansion on the universe of nighttime. Oh my god, that freight. Holy crap, my computer is dying. Man, it's a foggy night outside tonight. Look at that. Uh, I'm trying this door too. Dude. <laughs> What are they probably thinking? Like, 11 p.m., my man is trying to break into everyone's apartment. Please, I'll probably be in cold. Let's go, though. So, we're outside. Uh, you know, let's not go there. Hotel right next to it. All right, so I'm guessing, do we walk? Yo, it cuts clips, so we probably... Hey, what the heck? You just transport me back? So, I guess we're walking this way here. Okay, hotel just to my side. It's just that nighttime stroll. Okay, now, I'm actually a bit suspect. Maybe we got away at the bus stop, then? Is that what we're doing here? Uh... Okay, we got fade out. I guess we had to catch the bus to our workplace. It's gonna drop us off. Let's get going then, guys. We work at the 812. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice one there. I see that. Bro, this literally is in the middle of nowhere. Okay, okay can the screen seriously stop doing that? <laughs> Let me just look around the side of this place here. Okay, little gate around the back. I, I don't think it's really stopping much, though. Like, you see how open this place is? Government put so much funding into creating an ultimate road, and here we are. Like, you don't have lanes anymore. It's next to impossible to crash. Uh, hello? Yo, boss, just turning up for work? Hey, how's it going, man? How you doing? This is the manager. Let's talk. Finally! My shift ended 30 minutes ago. Being late on your first day is not a good look. I'm sorry the bus took longer than I expected. Chill, this place in the middle of nowhere. You know, let's talk down to the guy, okay? Let's let him know about the bus. Good. I've left you a note with everything you have to do behind the slushy machine. Get everything done and don't be late again. And you'll get your paycheck by the end of the month. I'll see you in the morning. All right, bud. Take care. Dude, look at the way he's... I'm backing out. Bro. What? You see the shoulder action? I can't tell if my man's got a bad back or if like... Wait, hold up. <laughs> hey, manager, probably go to a chiropractor on your way home, you know? <sighs> Another night shift that we're gonna take care of. We've got security cameras all around this place. Uh, let's check the back room here, though. Okay, nice and clean. Remember to wash your hands. Guys, come on, you know what to do. Yep, shelves are all stocked up. Looks like no one's buying a single thing, though, other than what's on this shelf here. Probably should rethink what we buy in the inventory before selling stuff. Also, I don't want to know about that mess coming out of the bathroom. All right, let's start our service then. So behind the counter we go. Uh, okay, I don't know what that means, but we're heading back here. Look at this back storage place, though. Real rustic. So tickets, Helio, I don't know what that means, but... Uh, wait, what's this? Uh, okay, let's take a look. So, ooh, you can see the cameras as well. That's kind of neat. So cycle one through seven to look at the different parts of the store. Everything looks good to me, so we don't got to worry about that. Too much. How about this back area? Okay, back it. I'm gonna assume that was normal. Trash in the trash. Couple of shots missed. No biggie at all. But that's pretty much it, guys. I, I don't think there's much more really that we can do at the moment. We got a security camera just outside, so if anyone does try and break in, yeah, we'll report that to the police. Okay. <laughs> Can I stop doing that, though? All right, let's actually try and see what are we doing in this place, though. The manager mentioned that we had some stuff to do behind the slushy machine. Clean the store, replenish the shelves, and take out the trash, and, of course, serve any customers that come in. Yo, I'm hoping it's going to be a quiet night, not too busy on the front of the store. All right, let's take this, then. So, we've got the broom. Let's start sweeping. Let's go. Look at this mess here, though. Oh, my God. I'm going to scrub this thing with all my might. We've got to clean this good stuff. Uh, I think it's fading. Yeah, we're getting this. That is fading away. Hey, nice and easy. Couple of stains on the floor, though. No problem, though. I can just sweep these away. Come on, a bit more. And that is looking nice and spotless to me. You know, nothing like a normal night on the shift, guys. Just mopping up. I don't, I don't know how stains like this even appear on the floor. I don't want to ask the boss what went down before I came in. Let's just do the scrubbing bit, all right, guys? <laughs> 
Hey, hold up a second, we got a customer. Uh, one second, let me just clean the bathroom up. You know, whilst I'm doing these boring mundane tasks, guys, have you liked the video yet? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you, thank you. Hey, hold up, I'm sorry, I'll be two seconds, give me just a moment, do my job here. Come on, can this clean, though? Alright, that'll do for now. Okay, we're coming, sorry about that, ma'am, you know, <laughs> so much bull crap going around here, it's making your way up, I'm sorry about that. So let's talk, can I help you? I really need some cigarettes, I have the most stressful day. Are you gonna tell me a brand or the red brand, please? Bro, that is kind of rude, though. You see, like, I, I don't care about your stressful day. He just wants to get this done. Do I have to put the broom back, though? Like, how do I actually get this thing done? Because I can't pick up the cigarettes. Okay, I think we did it. She says thanks, and she goes in the way. Yeah, I'll see you later. Thank you for being a loyal customer, even though I've never seen your face before. All right, where's this last stain at? Ooh, okay, I'm seeing it now. Looks like someone spilled a lot of alcohol on the floor or some kind of bad stuff. Hey, crooks, you see that on the wall there? Security alarm connected to the police department and 24-hour security. Two things that are definitely going to help me on my way here. Uh, okay, I see you. Uh, we're done cleaning. Uh... Can I help you, sir? You see his van rumbling, though. Like, my God, you might want to get that checked out. Uh, yo, sir. Are you coming in or not? Well, that is kind of suspect, isn't it? He checked out the store and just left on his own accord. Let's not think too much about it. Let's go back here. We don't want to put the room back. Let me just scan the surveillance cameras a second. So, cam one, two, three... Looking like the store is absolutely fine. I'm seeing no problems in this place. Let's get back to doing our job. We got the first task done. The next is to replenish the shelves. So maybe we should get on with that step next. See, we'll start by taking this one here, the beet soda. Uh, I can like spin these boxes, but it doesn't actually let me take them. Wait, oh, hold up. I right click to look at them and then I press the E button. So I don't even know what I just got, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean the shelves up. See, I see this down here. There you go. A simple task. We literally just dump things down. You know, I can even pick up the trash whilst I'm going through here. So yeah, you're Come on with me, let's go. Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, wait, why can't I open the door? The heck? So do I need to go all the way around? Because the doors were locked up, I thought. Hold up. We just checked the cameras towards the back of the store. Six and seven look kind of clear. Wait, and then it just opens up no problem. All right, let's go. Yeah, that sound don't scare me no more. Oh, <laughs> we put the broom in the trash <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that solves two things. Next on the list, then, is going to be this guy. So, teakers, let's put you on the shelf. There you go. Put the teakers back. Now, there's like two or three more things left. Let's uh, take the trash on the way out, too. Throw this in the trash can. Hey, we've got that cool lagoon, my favorites also. All right, let's stack these up. No wonder these are flying off the shelf, though. The new flavor's sick. Uh, hey, bro, what is with your step? Uh, bad knees or something? Like, you want some ointment? Let's talk to this dude. Oh, my God. This man is the shadiest looking guy I've seen so far. What do you need? Are you here all alone? Uh, no, my co-worker's in the back. Yeah, that's it. Get out of here, hunchback looking creepy dude swag. Oh, he's about to start buying the good stuff. Uh, okay. Let's leave him to do his thing. He's checking what's in those cupboards. Yo, I'm gonna keep stacking shelves and just imagine he's a normal guy. Calpy G, these are next up. Uh, hold on, hold on. Dude, why are you walking past the door triggering that? Can you seriously stop us? I'm gonna kick you out. He's going on the shelf. What's he doing though? Like, do you want a hand, sir? Like, you, you want some of the canned goods in there or something? Bro, get your chin out. What, what are you doing? All right, he's gonna take a dump in the back. Oh, he ain't even gonna do that. We'll stack the shelves. Uh, more trash on the store. Let's go. He's fidgeting around this store quite a lot though. He's indecisive. Did you come in here for something, sir? Or like, well, you know, what's going down? Wait, also, hold up. Am I suspect to the wrong person? We gotta see where he goes. He just leaves the store. The van, though. The van is outside again. Look, he's pulling away. Ha, huh. that is kind of weird. I don't know if I'm just paranoid at this moment, though, guys. Like, it might be completely harmless for all I know, and I'm just freaking out over nothing. All right, let's go. Uh, I don't see anyone else here. I think I've done all my tasks, too. Let me see. Clean the store, replenish the shelves. We gotta take out the trash also. Uh, is there any more trash, though? Oh, my God. I thought the other guy's back was bad. Look at you, sir. Oh, my. Yeah, are you a zombie, though? Theory, could I please use your bathroom? Sure, ma'am. It's right through there. Thank you, love. What are you even doing in this place? This is in the middle of nowhere and could be dangerous for someone your age. That's a reasonable question. I went for a late night walk, but I must have taken a wrong turn or something. Do you want me to call you a cab? I can take care of myself. Um... Are you sure about that? Uh, customer knows best, right? Customer knows best. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing my job. Skip this. Dude, I already know she's li- Ma'am, oh my, close the door. Hold up, she's straight up Blair witching it in there. Okay, I'm taking the trash out like I said before. Excuse me, let's go. Straight out here. I ain't even thinking, throw the trash in. All right, trash is looking all stacked up neatly. Let's go back through. Uh, is she done back there though? I think she's done, should we talk? Hey ma'am, you want to hand with anything? Like- Alright, you walk into me again. I'm literally gonna make sure you never get back home. Dude, she's crab walking into a wall. Like, 
She don't even know what she's doing. I feel bad for this lady. Like, poor, look, what is she doing? She made a mess in the bathroom now? Like, <coughs> oh. Hey, did you hear that? I was about to start looking at things that I need to get done in the store. That sounded like my, uh, the chain link fence got knocked. Hold up, let's talk through the camera. So six, seven. Ah, uh, wait, hold up. Is that someone there, though? Ooh, I don't want to go out this door. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Hey, sir, please don't. Hey, hold up, hold up. Is that the old lady? Oh my god, she's still giving me the eye. We probably want to call the police, right, dude? Why are you standing there? Um... <laughs> Okay, I, I don't get what this game is doing. I guess the game is completely broken. Please don't crash on me this time, guys. I've just played through the whole game for this moment again. So, wait. We go through the back, all right, and then we see the body. Like, I don't want to get too close in case it glitches out again. Like, here, though? Uh, what's going down? Like, I can see the body. Do I click on it or something? Yo, I don't... Ah! You're telling me I've played through the entirety of that game just to get the experience of 180 degree turning around and getting my face smashed in by that dude. Yeah, we did. That was a cool remake though. It's nice to see the game in a different graphic style, a very, very good way of doing things. And I think this was like a school project or something like that. So I'm gonna give props for that first game. All right, let's see what's happening next. <laughs> This next game is called SCP-087. Now, if I remember correctly about this SCP, I think it's something to do with like a never ending set of stairs that you keep going down. Bizarre things happen, you probably end up dying. Let's go. Ooh, through the perspective of a video camera, playing a document 087 TV exploration. All right, so we might be some kind of like crewmate. We've been sent in to do some filming and we got the camera straight on our forehead and we're doing this. Hold up, did you hear that or was that just me hearing things? Probably SCP-087 creeping me out, right? Let's go, let's go. Uh, that must be me moving. Damn, we make a lot of noise when we go down these stairs. Look, listen. SCP-087 is an unlit platform. A light source is required for subjects exploring. What? I, I can't read. A light source is the bright light source is required. The bottom of the SCP, if it exceeds, has not yet been discovered. This is flashing way too quick, though. Am I just a slow reader? Like, what's going down here? So, it's talking about a light source. Uh, I don't know if I've actually got one. I'm pressing buttons, guys, but let's keep going. This is talking about SCP-087 never being explored by humans, though. Like, we always try and get down this thing, but every test subject, they can never quite get to the bottom. You see in the bottom corner, too, it's like M30. That must be the depth of which we're heading down these stairs. So 34 meters deep, and we're still going. Like, there ain't no signs of this thing bombing out. Let's go, 087. You don't scare me. You don't scare me. You're just a set of stairs, right? The more I go down, the more exhausted I get. Each subject reports here in distress, crying from vocalizations from sounds. That was a trap. Any attempts to descend the staircase have failed to bring subjects closer. Dude, if you want me to do your test subjects, you gotta deliver those messages a little bit slower, you know? Like, you gotta let me read. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm busy panicking and talking about that. You hear the heart rate increasing now? You can hear the sound of crying beneath you. Oh yeah, I'm hearing that. You can estimate that it is around six flights down. So, we know what we're doing here. Six flights down, let's get it. So, there we go. We're going down. Hey lady, we're here to help you. You probably got lost last time, right? Let's go. Oh. Hey, did you see that? There was like an orb or something. I definitely saw something there. After 087's discovery, multiple explorations were conducted in the structure. Uh, the further steps recorded were shown to be far beyond both the possible structure. This time, it is unknown if 087 has an end point. Ooh. This is getting weird, though. 90 meters deep in this SCP. Hey, hey, hey! Calm the lights down, though. Calm those lights down. Let's get it. We're doing this for science, man. We're doing this. For the greater good. So whoever comes down this thing might get a little bit further than me. We're still going though. We're still going. Wait, arrows. They're saying, hey, you should pop. Oh! Hey. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yo. SCP. That thing is gone though. That was 087, the manifestation. Yo. Am I just seeing things? Or is he appearing on the side of the stairs? Or it? This thing. Oh! Yo, what the heck? You dropping the cement on my head? What is this? A loose piece of concrete has broken and fallen down. What about if we just come down this staircase though with like dynamite? Could we straight up break 087? You know. Oh, hold on, hold on. That sounds like someone's running above me though. Are they like trying to catch up when I'm down below? Ooh, this is weird. This is very, very weird. I'm gonna check back. There's nothing there. So all we can do. Oh! Ooh, yeah. 087. 
They're watching us, man. They're watching us. Each subject conducted an exploration has encountered 0871. That must be what we're seeing. It appears as a face with no visible pupils, nostrils, or mouth. The nature of the SCP is entirely no, unclear. I, I can't read, bro. Why are you flashing? 150 meters. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, we're doing this. We're doing this. 150. Hey. Oh, my God. I've got droplets on my face of some kind of red substance. Oh. Oh, the manifestations, they're getting much more severe. He's straight up in my grill. It's like we've gone down too far. And the maddening effects, they've gone to us a bit too much. Oh! Man, here we go. Here we go. I'm hearing this cries too. Oh, yeah. You see this? Look, guys, we've got heck now below. Do I really want to go down here? I mean, it's for science, right? The research I do, it might help other people. Yeah, you don't scare me. You don't scare me. You're the embodiment of absolutely nothing. Okay, I'm seeing this. We've got, like, things draping down. Woo! Oh, he's in my face. Oh, I'm hurting. I'm starting to hurt now. Hold on, hold on. What was that? Pieces of long hair like material are reaching up from the ground. Oh, I thought they were hanging down. That's interesting. Due to the results of the final exploration, uh, no personnel are permitted from that thing. I couldn't properly read the message. They're flashing on the screen so much faster than my brain could comprehend. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You guys, I think we've entered hell. You know what this SCP was talking about and leading us down here? I don't think they were lying on this occasion. They're being truthful. Only observed in exploration, a strange organic material covers walls deep within. Uh, it's possible that 087 is a living structure absorbing and feeding. Shortly after this discovery, the subject dropped the video camera. I can't read! So wait, this is only seen on the video camera itself? Like, we don't physically see this thing? I don't know. Ooh! All right. I see you. Oh, you see the outline imprinted in our brain. We're seeing this. Oh, man. That's us dropping the camera, right? We can't descend any further. Oh, but the camera can. Soon after the camera was dropped, signal contact eventually deteriorated into static due to traveling out of the range. Uh, over a period of two weeks following exploration, several members of camp... The door leading to 087 has been fitted with a six centimeter thick industrial padding. So they're locking this door up. Low signal as that thing drops almost 1,000 meters into 087. Thank you for playing. It's a creepy concept, and it's what I really appreciate about this game and the concept of SCPs, though. Like, it goes beyond just what you see on the screen. It's just, like, terrorizing you from within. Just the idea of, like, a staircase and continually going down with no windows, no external light sources, and it must be just pitch black as you continually descend further and further down with no bottom in sight or ever to be found. Yeah, you know what, guys? Skip flights of stairs, I'm done. <laughs> The third and final game is called Unfamiliar Household. Like, I don't know even what this thing is, guys. It looked kind of cool. Hey, hold up. Let's go. Hey, bud, how you doing? Hard to read new text. Let's go. Hello, honey. I hope things are going well with the baby girl. Of course they are. You don't need to keep checking in on me. I know, but it's your first time overnight with her by yourself, and you make me nervous since the chamomile tea incident. Wait, what? Oh, come on. It was just a one-time thing. And the lady at Poison Control was very nice. We all know about your crush on the poison lady. Uh, it's almost time uh, to take it to bed. I love you. I love you too. So maybe that was our girlfriend or something, but it might not be. I don't know, because it's in an unfamiliar household. Uh, why would I pick up a flashlight if my house is in complete lightness? Hey, we're like an architecture. I see the work going in here. Look at this, though. Nice stormy night cozy time to be spending with my child. I like this, guys. I like this. Look at this, guys. Like, when you're in a household that opts to not even have, like, a TV in the main living room, they just sit down. They know the view outside is all you need to see. All right, let's go back in here, though. I'm seeing, like, flashing happening. You see that? Hey, what's going down, kid? You okay? So, eat to pick up the baby? Uh... You probably don't want to hold your baby like that. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, kid. Just let's go upstairs. Yes. You see the outside? Nice and cold. Don't go out there. You stay in warmth, okay? Warmth is good. So, uh, all right. We're probably taking the baby to bed. Uh, let's put the flashlight on. Don't ask questions about the flashlight, baby. We're just doing this. Eat to open the latter. Wait, what do you mean, open the latter? Uh... The freak? All right, let's go up here. Hey, baby, you want to see what's in the attic? Yeah, this is where the ghosts and demons live, and this is where mommy and daddy are probably stored them. All right, we probably should put the kid to bed first before we start, like, summoning demons and stuff. Wait, what the heck? Where's the baby crib at? So, we got the main bed. Uh, maybe this kid's got, like, his own room or something like that. Let's open the door. Hey, kid, you're doing well. Look at this. You got your own bedroom. All right, um... S sleep well. Shut that freaking door. Dude, that kid is driving me insane. I don't even know who he is, but I don't like him already. Hey, demons, what's going down? I hear this place has ghosts and all kinds of bad things in the attic. Let's get this underway. So, all right. Um. Hey, let's go. Uh, all right. I think the demons are probably awake now, guys. Let's go downstairs. Let's see what's happening. Hey, demons, look. I'll bring you a lullaby box. I'll bring this for you. Let's check on the baby, actually. Hey, kid, you like... <laughs> 
fantastic selection of games that we played on this today thank you was that last game saying like the mom was like an evil person or something maybe we had to just simply make the mother happy so she was secretly watching us with that kid she saw us put the child to bed and like maybe she's satisfied with the way we did things maybe this game was all about getting in our wife's good books and we managed to finally do it so so much for a horror game right we just won that thing hey would you look at that it looks like you made it to the end as well guys hopefully you did enjoy this video this was another episode of three random games i don't really got much more to say we played the games we had some fun hopefully you guys did enjoy the experience throughout so i'm actually gonna get out of this place but if you guys did enjoy this episode why not drop me that like rating and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here what was i'm keeping that in that's that's on me that's my voice's fault so thanks so much for watching this video guys of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one